Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for this unboxing video of some cool LA Rams Super Bowl 56 memorabilia. It is March 14th, 2022 and I am excited for this one because I placed the order for this particular item just after the LA Rams won Super Bowl 56 in a close but cool game against the Bengals and I was waiting for this to arrive. Pretty stoked gonna show you what it looks like right here yeah that's the top of the box inside the box and let's see okay cool I'm opening it up and showing you live yeah you already know from the title but if somehow you missed the title and are just clicking on the video without knowing it is an LA Rams helmet why do I need it? Well, <laughs> um, good question, because I think it's cool. And I think as an LA Rams fan, for this being their first official Super Bowl victory since coming back to California, what better way to commemorate the win for myself than to own a piece of it? Oh, that's pretty slick. Yeah, it is their second Super Bowl win, but they didn't win the prior one as an L.A. team. And me being a Los Angeles, wow, resident my entire life, having a football team back in Los Angeles and to win the Super Bowl is a pretty significant thing. That's awesome. I had the pleasure of going to many LA Rams games over the last several years, the majority of the home games every season with the exception of 2020 in which I didn't go to any of the games. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know, should I try it on? <laughs> we'll see, maybe. It says Super Bowl 56 champions, Rams 23, Bengals 20. When I first ordered this, you know, they just put out what the final look was going to be and they didn't have the score yet, even though the score just happened. But, you know, that takes a little bit of time. So that's cool. We've got the standard Rams look on the side. And on the other side is that Super Bowl 56 win. You know, I think the team has a really good color scheme. I think they have a really cool logo. If you go back to their old logos where they have just the horns on the helmet and the horns as part of the logo, kind of like this one. It's always looked good. The newer age logo with the Ram incorporated into it, looking off to the side, it was nice. Old school Rams helmet of a different variation was also cool, kind of like the bone looking structure. The new one, that's LA. Uh, I thought they could have found a way to incorporate the Ram itself into LA but they ended up going with a very simple, sleek, basic, kind of all-encompassing, just LA, Los Angeles with a whoosh, swoop that sort of, you know, embellishes on that whole uh, horn thing, but not quite having the animal in it. Then the animal side of things, they have a separate logo for, which is not on here. But that's okay, you know, it's, it's cool. Like overall, the the helmets have always looked pretty good. The color schemes always has always been pretty good. If you like blue and yellow, which I do, good combination. Yeah, this is this, that Riddell. Helmet, boom. I don't know if it's ready to put on. I don't know if I want to put it on necessarily. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Put it on, might not be able to get it off. Of course, it also has proper head adjustments and stuff like that. I guess we could see, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So without being properly adjusted or anything like that, nor is this going to be used for game purposes or anything, uh, there you go. It's got a good weight to it. This is what they use in the NFL. It's a good helmet. It's a good size. What, I'm, what am I using this for then? Well, basically in my game room slash office, I've got my video game statues and... I've got a, an LA Rams helmet that's going to join, commemorating that awesome victory as the teams come back to Los Angeles, proved successful, you know, reaching NFC West Championship, NFC Championship, and then eventually Super Bowl win. So that's the helmet. 
that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Are you an LA Rams fan? Are you a fan of the NFL in general? How do you think the Rams are going to do next year? You know, I'm not greedy. I, for as much as I enjoy my team winning, right, being a Los Angeles kid growing up, the LA Rams have become my team over the last several years. I'm not greedy in wanting, you know, this team to win every Super Bowl year after year after year, right? For some that would say, that's blasphemous. How could you want someone else to win? But I kind of always have that mindset of if different teams are winning in different years back to back and once in a while coming back to you, that's overall good and better because that's more people around the world, more people within, in this case, NFL, the United States, having more fun at more times, not just this empire being, being built here and everyone else being disappointed, everyone else being, ah, my team never wins kind of scenario, you know? So it feels good to win, feels good to kind of build up a legacy of power, but who benefits more in the world? One team winning constantly, thus building some additional animosity from others, or more people spreading it out. Now, is that to say that all 32 teams, you know, should be winning one after a year for 32 years and then coming back? No, that's not going to ever happen, nor would that necessarily be the best because then you wouldn't have really a sense of who is the best, right? It's okay for someone to be the best, someone to have the most impressive quarterback on their team, the most impressive amount of total wins over any other division, but not so much to the point where like no one ever eats out of the pie too, right? It's kind of good to share. So if the LA Rams win two Super Bowls back to back, I would be very happy. But if they don't, I'm happy that within the last several years of them coming back to Los Angeles, we got an NFC West championship, a second place, you know, uh, position in the NFL overall a few years ago, losing in Super Bowl 53, which was a pretty bad game. This was a great game against the Bengals. And then now a win. So if we don't win next year, I say we, you know, I'm not playing. But if the LA Rams don't win next year, but if they do well, that would be cool. If they do win, hey, that would be pretty awesome. And at that point, eh, another helmet probably going to get added. All right, this is Paul Gale Network signing out. Thanks for watching with me. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.